you're looking a bit, uh, you're looking a bit blue, Lee. <laughs> what the, the blue man group, blue man group. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely banging in there. In Mark Ellis, oh, it's kicking off in black. <laughs> just... You said it, I just yeah. love the video, I love it. Let's have a look down there, shall we? Can you smell that, Lee? Oh, that's vile, what is it? It smells weird. Yeah. I never understand the lap dancing world. You come out more frustrated than you do when you've got in. <laughs> totally pointless. Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side, and we, the map master, and I are here in Blackpool. It's Good Friday. Good Friday. It's a Good Friday. Well, I don't know about that. The weather's been all over the place today. <laughs> oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe to this guy here. He does travel videos, food vlogs, electric cars. Oh, we don't mention that. Hey, and videos little... where I put you on fairground rides. Yeah, those as well. <laughs> <laughs> More of that to come. Anyway, it's Good Friday today. What time is it? About seven o'clock in the evening or it something is, like yeah. that? So what I thought we'd do, we'd done some, you've done your own videos today, so I thought I'd do my little video and I'd take you up the promenade. We're going to go up to the town centre, aren't we? Yeah. We might even have, you know. A couple uh, of jars. Beer monsters uh, might come out. Uh, we'll see about that. So how busy is it in Blackpool this Good Friday? Uh, now that it's gone dark, let's go and take a look, shall we? Oh, we've just got some light off that car. That's brilliant, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, light light anyway, we are here on the Golden Mile. Um, we were just at South Shore there. Um, we were close to the South Pier, weren't we? But we're making our way north towards the town centre. And you like your fish and chip shops, don't you, Lee? You I like do. Your... And there's plenty of them here. Now, we've reviewed quite a few of them. There's the yeah. Cod Father, there's the Cod Mother. I think out of... I always recommend Yorkshire fisheries and tower fisheries, but there's the other ones we've been to as well. There is so many to choose from, and to be quite fair, all of them are really, really good. You can't go wrong. That's right. There's so many fish and chip shops and restaurants here in Blackpool. It's a, it's a really... I get people asking me all the time, and really, to be honest, it's, it's difficult, isn't it, to tell them which ones are best because there's that many, isn't it? But the Yorkshire fisheries, like you said, is good. I have my favourites. I have Raffles, which is my local chippy, Raffles. Shout out to Raffles on the corner of... Oh, what's the name of that? I can't remember. Cunliffe Road and Ansdell Road. It's a local chippy for local people. Hey, that sounds like one of them adverts from years ago from the cinema. The local chippy for local people. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Yeah, so this is where we are at the moment. The Codfather chippy. Not been in there, you know, myself, actually. The cod father. They've also got the cod mother a bit further down. Have you been to any of these? I haven't, but I'd like to try them both. What I should do one day, along with Stephen, is do the cod father versus the cod mother, which is the best. Now, that would be a video. Ah, there you go. Anyway, let's head on this way. Oh, look at the tower lit up. You can see the big wheel there as well. Look at that there. We've had a bit of rain today, so you can see the, the promenade is... A little bit wet, but just look at that shot of the tower there, wow. The beacon of hope. You're looking a bit, uh, you're looking a bit blue, Lee. Well, it's like, it's <laughs> well, like the, the blue man group, isn't no, it? No, I know it's cold today, but uh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Go on, blind that light, that, that lighting. <laughs> I could do with that lighting in my hotel room. I think we, I think, I think we'd better keep walking because uh, we're starting to look a little bit colder. <laughs> Let's carry on, shall we? Right. Okay. We've made it here to the Lindian Hotel, and it looks absolutely rammed in there, Lee. It's busy today. Yeah, it is. All the hotels seem to be doing really, really well. And that's what we want here in Blackpool. We want Blackpool to be nice and busy, don't we? And we want some nicer weather as well, because today it's not been that great, has it? It's been a bit up and down. 
and we're hoping for some better weather tomorrow. Well, we're on the right side of it, and don't forget, tonight, when we're filming this, what happens? I oh, know it's tomorrow, isn't it? That oh. happens. What? Clocks. Oh, the clocks go forward, don't they? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 you got that. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to mention that this hotel here, the Linding, it was in the Peter Kay. Peter Kay did, what was it? It was called the Ponderosa, wasn't it? Phoenix Nights. Phoenix Nights, that's, that's it, yeah. It. There you go. Right, it's happened right here. Blimey, famous hotel. There you go. Right, OK, so we've made it to Manchester Square and we're just outside the Manchester pub here. Do you know that this area here is where Blackpool got its name? What with? How? Right here at Manchester Square, because there used to be a, a dike that came off a lake and it, the water from that dike, which was very, very black, peaty water, Spen Dyke it was called, it used to flow into the sea from here. I'm talking hundreds of years ago, and that it created a black pool on the beach and that's where the name comes from ah. black pool not a lot of people know that you're always learning stuff on my channel So we're making our way along the Golden Mile here in Blackpool. We've just gone past Manchester Square. And I tell you what, the video quality, you were saying that this camera's not bad, is it? It's fantastic. Looking at it on screen there, looking at ourselves, there's lighting on it for, for night shots. It's phenomenal. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Now, what camera is it? I do get quite a lot of people asking me, Steve, what camera do you use? It looks amazing. I'm actually using a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for this video and uh, it, it does look pretty good doesn't it in low light it's just a shame about that mac master blow <laughs> if you could get rid of him it'd be all right <laughs> well you know i do quite a lot of videos at night so i need something that's good in low light so this is just perfect anyway let's carry on onwards onwards Okay, we've made it now to this building just behind us, which is called the Fox Hall and the Reflex. I believe the Reflex is a nightclub on the top floor. Now, this building here stands where the first house in Blackpool was ever built. Back in 1670, yeah. Blimey. Yeah, and it was a bit of a holiday home, actually, and it was built by the Tilsley family. And there's a road just behind here that's called Tilsley Road, and that was named after them. It's even got a blue plaque. Let's have a look at the blue plaque, shall we? Yeah. No relation to Gail Tilsley. <laughs> no relation to... There you are, there's the blue plaque. Check it out if you're coming to Blackpool. It's on the, on the corner here. There you go, look at that, 1670. Can't hear... <laughs> electric taxis, you can't hear... <laughs> The uh, electric taxi just pulled out there, didn't it? And you couldn't yeah. even hear it, could you? Yeah, you got knocked hey. over by an electric car. Uh. That would have been a good ending, <laughs> wouldn't it? Mac Master gets ended by electric car. Anyway, let's have a look around here, shall we? We're now in the Foxhall area. This is Foxhall Road. That's Sea Fresh Fish and Chips just over there. What do you think? Have you ever been in there? I haven't, but they're supposed to be really good, actually. I've heard good things about that. I might have to try them. And just here we've got the new Philly Sports Bar. That looks really, really popular in there. Very busy. Where's Mark Cannon? Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, just look at that view of the tower down here. Yeah. We've got Mark Kelly's as well. Look at this, we've got Mark Kelly's. Is that central? Oh, that's central. Oh, just listen. Just listen to the atmosphere. Isn't it amazing? It's, it's kicking off in there. It's absolutely <laughs> banging around here. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? Look at the colour. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely banging in there. In Mark Kelly's, and just over here we've got the lifeboat. Oh, there's music going off all over the place. KNTs, oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you think, Lee? It's a well, bit. I tell you what, I reckon I'm, I'm ready for a pint now. I could be Blackpool's new beer monster. <laughs> You know, it doesn't seem that long ago I was walking up this road here 
and it was completely dead. There was nothing going on. And yet now, Good Friday evening, it's dark, you know, the lights are low and people are having a good time, aren't they? They it's are. Amazing. Yeah. And I think we might be doing it a bit. We might have, have a couple of pints. <laughs> Do you reckon we can? Probably. It's really not to, <laughs> wouldn't it? Now, there is up here, supposedly, the cheapest pint in Blackpool, allegedly. The cheapest pint, yes, that's the Ardwick, yeah. And I went in there not too long ago. Yeah, £1.80 a hey. pint, you can't beat it. And you made it out alive. I made it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. That's the Ardwick there, here on Foxhall Road. Check it out. If you're coming to Blackpool, the cheapest pint in at Blackpool. The big three, £1.80. Strongbow, John Smith's and Foster's. £1.80 here at the Ardwick. Check it out and look how busy it is. Lots of people in there, isn't there? Anyway, we're going to carry on. Can we do something daring? Can we go on the wild side? Do you want to take a little walk on the wild side? I so will. we've made it to Chapel Street here. We're just outside the sea, another fish and chip restaurant. There's so many, isn't there? We're just across from the Central Pier, just over there. Not far from the One Pound Burger as well. He's only around the corner. And uh, I think we'll just take a little walk on the wild side. Let's have, let's have a look down the back street, shall we? Let's go for it. Come on. So we're just going to head down this way, past the Stanley Show. Look at that there, doesn't that look amazing? The Stanley Show. Well, this is Dale Street, and just down there is the One Pound Burger. But I'm afraid he's closed at the moment. He's just down there, Chris's place. Yeah, so that's where Chris's place... You've been there, haven't you, Lee? He's not open, is he? No, he's not open at the moment, but the bingo next door is open. I think I can see light coming out of there anyway. The one pound burger, you can see the sign there, hopefully, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go this way. What I want to do is um, I want to take you and see if we can get through the old police station and get to the other side because it's all falling down and it's a little bit dodgy, a little bit... Danger you fancy it? my middle name. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> Let's go. So we're going to head over here. This is the old magistrates' courts here. You can see the magistrates' courts and the old police station as we can hear that banging music. Oh, oh it's kicking up in black. <laughs> I just, I, I just, got it. He, said it. he said it actually yeah. on the video. I love it. We it's just saw a off. police van, <laughs> but we're going to take a, a little walk through this part up here and we're going to see if we can get to the side. <laughs> So we're going to have a little walk through here. Now it's been derelict for quite a while this place and the last time I went up there there were windows smashed and there was rubbish all over the place and it just looked a bit apocalyptic. Are you looking forward to it or what? I am, but I have a serious question. What? What is actually happening with it? Because it is a bit of a mess. Well they're supposed to be knocking all this down you see. The magistrates courts, the old police station which was sort of designed in the 60s. It was a chap called Roger Booth that designed it. And he was notorious for building these concrete sort of uh, brutalist police stations across the north. And uh, I think they were designed to be nuclear bomb proof. <laughs> it just looked like that, doesn't it? <laughs> it's supposed to be knocked down then? It's supposed to be knocked down, but I don't know when it's going to happen. But uh, it's obviously part of a £300 million development that they're doing right here. And if you just look over here, just look, I'll just turn the camera around actually and show you. This is the first phase. Can you see that? Blackpool Central. Yeah. The new multi-storey car park. Doesn't that look fancy? It does. Yeah, it's not open just yet as we film this, but it's not far away. So this is the first phase that we're looking at here of the new development. Uh, the new multi-storey car park. Look. Blackpool County Car. That's an old sign, isn't it? There's some old signs here. Blackpool Civil Magistrates Courts. Of course, the courts are not in use now, and uh, um, actually, you know what? They, they had to they had to clear the courts out because they had that build. What's that roof thing? The concrete roof? The oh, racker? Asbestos. Is it racker? Not not asbestos. No racker. So they had to close the magistrates courts down. So all our court hearings are now held at Preston and Lancaster, I believe. Yeah. Mm. So all this place up here now is all boarded up. We'll go and check it out, shall we? <laughs> yeah, listen to those sirens in the background. It's kicking off in Blackpool. <laughs> Can we get through the other side here? Can we get to the other side? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, so all these buildings here, now these were the courts. And I don't know if you can tell, but they're all boarded up. Can you see? Look at this here, look. Yeah. All boarded up. Well, they had to board them up, you see, because kids were coming up here and 
smashing windows. Oh, look at that shot, the tower there. Look. And there's a PlayStation there, of course. It's been a landmark since about 1972. Wow. What do you think? think it looks a little bit... Uh, ominous, is that the word? Yeah, and if you look down there, Lee, look, you can see broken, broken glass. glass there, look. That's why they had to board it all up. These windows are still yeah. intact. Well, I think they've still got quite a lot of stuff inside these buildings yet, you know. Up here, yeah. There's no window in it. Look at that. Look, there's a smash window there, look. Wow. It's a bit on the wild side here, isn't it? It's just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make our way through and we should come out. If we can get through this puddle, oh my goodness, a massive puddle here. Oh no. Quite deep, right? <laughs> yeah, that's quite deep, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> Oh my goodness. It smells. Oh. oh. It Let's have a look down there, shall we? Oh. Can you smell that, Lee? Oh, that's vile, what is it? It smells of weed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Smells a bit like your hotel room, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look over here, shall we? Oh, it's all right, we're not far from the end. We can see the tower again. Look at that there. Look, look at this view, folks. Wow. But look at all that water down there. I didn't know there was a swimming pool in here. Just down there is a number 13 Bonnie Street, a very, very popular pub, and that is on Bonnie Street, of course, just behind the police station, the old police station. Dog friendly as well. Check it out if you're coming to Blackpool, but I'll just turn the camera around. Oh, look at that. Eh? What do so you think? What, is there anything inside there now? I don't think so. I think they emptied it all out. You know, the police station itself, this building here, has all been emptied out. Now the police did move to a new state-of-the-art police station on the edge of town. They got themselves out of here. Do you know, eh? I was just thinking, really, you should have the police station in town and give it some pres presence. I don't. I think that, that's what I think personally anyway. Taking it out of town, does that really work? I think the, uh, they thought, we don't like being here, you know. We want to get out of town so we can get away from all these beer monsters. What do you think? <laughs> Probably the case. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. No police on the streets. Oh no, there's no police on the streets. Oh, just look at that view of the tower there. We're looking down now towards, um, that's Bonnie Street Market down there. I don't know if you can see there's like a gap there. Yeah. Yeah, that used to be Bonnie Street Market, yeah, but it's no more Bonnie Street Market. What's that going to be? Well, probably a car park. What do you think? That's think what, <laughs> that's what <laughs> Blackpool <laughs> Council normally do. They stick a car park. They're not something down and build a car park. But anyway, we. We've, we've made it, we've made it to the other side. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here. We're gonna pass over Bonnie Street there. That's the, the pub just down there. And we're gonna come down these steps here and we'll be back on the promenade again. Hey. Well, how about that? We made it, we made it. Eh? I'll tell you what, the worst part of that for me was the smell coming from that car park. Where did them steps lead to, by the way? Yeah, they, they actually go down to the car park, which is in use, actually. The car park is in use, but uh, when you look at it and when you see all that graffiti and you smell that, you'd think that it's been abandoned or something, wouldn't you? But no, it's all in use, yes. I, I wouldn't want to leave my car in there. <laughs> I don't think I would either. <laughs> anyway, we're back on the promenade now. Let's check it out. We've got yet another fish and chip restaurant here, traditional. They're so well lit as well. Look at all them lights there, wow. Oh, we're on the other side of the central pier now. There's a big wheel. Look at all these people. It's pretty busy. Just outside Funland. Funland Arcade, there you go. Look at all these people there. OK, so we're now back on the promenade again. What do you think? It's pretty busy, isn't it, really? Yeah, it it's is. not bad. It's strange, really, that you walk from that sort of like derelict police station around the back there. And it's so quiet as well, isn't it? Very, so very quiet. eerie. Yeah. And then you come out here and it's like, it's, it's banging, isn't it? It's bouncing. It's a complete contrast, isn't it? And yeah. you know what oh, surprises yeah, me? Things. You know, when I do videos of Blackpool sometimes and I say it's quite busy, which I think it is tonight, to be fair, there's it, a lot of people here, isn't it? Some people say, ah, oh, it's not busy. 
Is no. there hardly anybody there? Well, you can't really compare it to what Blackpool used to be back in the theatre. I think people are harking back to the olden days, you know, when the thousands of people on the beach. It's not quite like that anymore. And I think Blackpool is trying to reinvent, reinvent itself. So that's what we're trying to do. And uh, I, think we're, I think we're doing all right. Do you think the package holiday killed a lot of the seaside towns in the UK? Yeah, I think it certainly did, yeah. I mean, I grew up in the 70s. And I grew up in Blackpool, of course, but we loved it because we went to the Pleasure Beach, we went up the tower, we did all that sort of stuff. Uh, we only lived not too far from the Pleasure Beach, we were in there every week, you know. And uh, But we didn't notice that in the 70s, that was when Blackpool started to decline because obviously the jumbo jets were taking people to Spain. Yeah. And then when we got into the 80s, it was pretty obvious what was going on, you know. But uh, it was great growing up in Blackpool, you know. We used to laugh at other people in other towns like Preston and other places like that. <laughs> they didn't have anything, you know, not much entertainment, but there you go. It's uh, still by far, the, the, I, I would say, and I may be wrong, the most famous sort of like seaside town in the United Kingdom. Oh, definitely. This is number one. And it's not just, I mean, it's all the stuff we've got. We've got the piers, we've got the tower, of course. We're <laughs> getting, uh, getting someone waving at us there, yeah. Uh, we've, we've got so much stuff, you know, so much history here. And um, so, yeah. You've got the ballroom, you've the got tower the tower ballroom, here. the strictly come down, all that sort of the tower ballroom. I mean, there's too much to mention, really, isn't there? Anyway, let's turn the camera around and show you this. Just look at this. Now we've made it to the Golden Mile. Here we are, the Golden Mile. Just give you a look around. Look at all them cars over the road there. Wow, it's like a car park here on the promenade at Blackpool. Look. Wow. And just over here is Coral Island. There you go. Let's have one last look at the Golden Mile. Okay, so we're now outside the Coral Island. Do you know the Coral Island arcade here was actually built on the site of the old Central Railway Station? Yeah? I used to come here many years ago uh, with my ex-wife and my children, my elder children, and you used to get, it used to be the cheapest place. You could have a cup of tea from memory for about nine pence, uh, and you could also have a meal as well and feed all a family of four. I think it was for like less than 3 99 at the time, showing my age, but it was a great place to come. Yeah, yeah, they've got a, a nice little cafe in here, and uh, it's uh, it's quite a big place as well. And you know, when you get bad weather in Blackpool, there's lots of places you can go inside, lots of arcades, of course, we've got the Winter Gardens as well, of course, and the Coral Island is one of those places. It's just absolutely huge arcade, yeah, so... And for anyway. families, <coughs> kids eat free. Oh yeah, kids eat free. Oh my God, I can't believe it. There is a shopping trolley here outside. What is going on, Lee? It's, you know what? That's a sign of Blackpool. Is. I reckon I should get you in here and push you around. <laughs> Look at that, a shopping trolley outside the Blackpool Tower. Let's check it out, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> Just gone past the tower. And we're getting close to the town centre now, where I think it's going to be a little bit rowdy because we were in the town centre earlier, weren't we, when we were filming for your video? And it was a little bit rowdy, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. We're going past the this... fish and chip shop here. Oh. Harry Ramsden's. Harry Ramsden's, check it out. Just underneath the Blackpool Tower. What do you think to Harry Ramsden's? I have to say, without being rude, although I went to the one in Great Yarmouth the other week and that was not too bad, it isn't a patch on what it used to be. Originally, it was from Yorkshire and then it franchised and it kind of lost it a little bit but it's it, it all depends on who runs which branch and who's yeah. there on the day i do remember harry Ramsons when when it was original the original one i never went but i know it was in yorkshire and it must have been pretty good but obviously when they franchise things out it does come down to the whoever runs it doesn't it to how good it is yeah it's the same with my, my mother hubbard's is it uh, mother hubbard's there's quite a few around uh, the uk now one in nottingham one here uh, and it's hit and miss on, you know, each one because it's a franchise. Yeah. Anyway, Harry Ramsden's here. You know where they are. 
check them out if you're coming to Blackpool. But there's lots, there's just so much choice, isn't there? Anyway, let's carry on. It looks like you've warmed up a bit now. <laughs> Your face is all red. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we've just gone past Papa's. That's another fish, isn't it? That's another one from Yorkshire. They're all from Yorkshire, aren't they? You're being invaded by Yorkshire. War of the Roses <laughs> returned. <laughs> now then, we're just coming up to... Ooh, shenanigans just up here. That's the Irish bar. It's usually banging in there. There eh? will be some shenanigans <laughs> going on. <laughs> There will uh, be some shenanigans going on uh -huh. this weekend in Blackpool. Oh, I bet, yeah. So just over here, we've got shenanigans. And uh, there's also, um, yeah, there's also a lap dancing bar on the next floor, on the next floor. The entrance, by the way, is just in here. The lap dancing bar, there you go. I oh. never, can I just say, <sighs> I never understand the lap dancing bar, right? I'll keep this clean, because we don't want the you know, we want to keep the family channel. But I never understand a lap dancing bar. You're like, oh yeah, I need to uh, get in there. You go in there, more, you come out more frustrated than you do when you've gone in. <laughs> totally pointless. And probably most of them look like the cleaner. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head this way now. Oh, I love it. Beach fishing ships. Yeah, look, we've got the hen barges in tonight. We're going to head up this way here. Now this heat, this street, oh. Quick look at that there, Robert's Oyster Rooms, there you go. Oh, it's a bit noisy. We've got Nobby's Karaoke Bar, oh, look at that, it's banging in there. Wowzers. The music coming from all over the place. Just on the corner here, we've got Brannigan's. That's Brannigan's there. And hush. We're now coming out onto Market Street. Look at this. We get another nice view of the tower here. Yes. It's a bit of a lively night in Blackpool. What are you thinking, Lee? Do you uh, fancy it? I'm thinking I want to get a monk stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the Leighton Rakes over there, Weatherspoons. They play music in there, by the way. It's one of the few Weatherspoons where they actually play banging music. Oh, hello. Oh, they're all getting in the right back. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're going to get the money shot here now. Oh, <laughs> say it, Stephen, say it, go on. It's kicking off in Blackpool. I think they were just testing the lights. Yeah, it's not kicking off. So we're now just coming into Talbot Square. Straight across there is the Counting House. It used to be a bank back in the olden days. That, in fact, there was a lot of banks around here. In fact, that building over there, which is now H2O, that used to be a bank until fairly recently. It was the Royal Bank of Scotland. What do you think? Eh? They've redone these buildings, which were banks, and turned them into nightclubs or, or pubs. It's all right, isn't it? I think, uh, you know, my nightclubbing days, I think, are gone. However, I think it's time, almost time. I mean, it's time for a pint, what do you reckon? Uh -huh. Can we be beer monsters? I think we can be beer monsters for one night, can't we? So there you go, H2O, Blackpool's newest bar. There you go, yeah. We're now heading down the Strand. And this is where it all goes on here in Blackpool, the nightlife action. We're heading towards Queen Street. We've got Walkabout up here, which I've featured quite a few times on the channel before. Just here we've got Pop World and the old cinema. That used to be the one, two, three, four cinema, that. We've also got another strip club just up here. There you go. There's another strip club right there. Hey, Lee. Hey, we actually did a picture. <laughs> Remember that? We did the thumbnail. <laughs> Is it open? <laughs> Oh, it's not open, it's Did not it, open. It open yeah? It's not open, open just yet. Well, we're now coming into Queen Street and uh, here we are in Queen Street. It's, uh, I think the night is still young at the moment, Lee. I think the night is still young, but, but, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so we're now here in Queen Street and we've got a taxi coming to run us over if we don't move out of the way. Never find a taxi when you want one. I wanted a taxi this morning. <laughs> but if you come into Blackpool and you like, like a bit of nightlife or, or pubs, you'll get it here on Queen Street. We've got obviously got Walkabout, um, we've got Bar 19 up there, and just behind over this way on the corner with the promenade, we've got the Soul Suite. And there's a new place open just around the corner here. Can't remember the name of it, but you want to check that out as well. So um, it does seem a little bit quiet on here at the moment, but I think later on it could be a bit busy. What do you think? I mean, the night is young, I would say. I reckon we should uh, go and find out, just have a couple of pints. A That's nice quiet pint at a quiet pub. Yeah. Not one of these places. <laughs> no, well, we can just have a quiet pint. Let's see if we can find one. <laughs> right, OK, we've got away from the madness of Blackpool Town Centre and we've come here to the Brewers' Fair, Yeadon Way. This is just at the end of the road. If you're coming into Blackpool, if you're coming into sort of South Shore Blackpool, You'll see this. Um, I think you did a video in here, didn't you, the other day, yeah? I did, with us both in it, where nice. we had, uh, I had the pie and you had... Uh, I can't remember what you had. What did you have? I can't remember. I can't even remember doing the video, actually. <laughs> 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 but anyway, we've come here to... Will they still be doing food at this time? Because what time is it? About nine o'clock? I think we need to hurry, yeah. Well, I hope they do. Anyway, but anyway, we're going to have a drink, aren't we? It's a little bit more relaxed. Uh, down here than it is. It's a little bit hectic in town, won't it, yeah? Yeah, it won't be kicking off here and there's no beer monsters either. <laughs> anyway, let's check it out. I'll carry on some brews. Oh, no. Ooh, it's a bit fancy, isn't it? Look at this. Wow. We're going to get something to eat. Here we go. Right, okay, so we're now sat down here at the Premier. We just got in, didn't we? Just in time. Yeah, just in time, we're... but we've got to order quickly. So yeah, I think so... I'm going to go scampi and chips. Scampi and chips. Uh, what do I want? Well, I, I can remember now. I had this burger? one. I had that there, the big stout burger. Yeah, I remember now. It was only the other day. How did I forget? It was the day before yesterday. Right, so what am I going to go for this time? Um, oh, I don't know. Questions, questions. Um, let's have a look. I, I quite like that hot dog, you know. How about a brewer's hot dog? Look at that there. Check it out. I'm going to get that. Get the hot dog. One brewer's hot dog, one scampi and chips. And what would you like to drink? Um, ooh, shall I have a lager? Yeah. Oh, did they do real ales? Did they do real ales? Shall I surprise what? you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. Now then. Oh, it's a doom bar. Doom bar. And I've had a Carling Black Label. Cheers. Oh. I think I needed that after all what we've been doing today. Oh. It's been a bit of a busy one, especially for you, because you know something? I have never seen a YouTuber, not that I meet that many YouTubers, you know, but you work so hard. <laughs> I, honestly, you have got no idea how hard this guy works, so get following him. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, actually, and we've got food now coming. I'm, I'm interested to see your hot dog. I'm not sure whether you, you probably need to edit that bit out. <laughs> or just keep it in now, I'm quite I'll relaxed. Leave it in. I, I can't be bothered editing this video, I'm just going to throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brewers Fair. I tell you what, I think we gave it a good review actually, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, it's, good. it's all coming back to me now. I do remember the burger, it was really, really good. And you know, I've been coming to this one it's for quite a while actually, because it's not too far. Um, it's not to, not too far for me to come. No, and it's I always in my part of the town. And I always stop here in the Premier Inn. That's where I've been staying. Yeah. The Premier Inn, yeah. You can't go wrong with the Premier Inn, can you? I've stayed at a few of them myself. And Guaranteed awesome. a good night's yeah. sleep. However, I do have it on good authority. Shall I? Uh, do you know what? I'm mean, actually. I've, I'm not. I was never supposed to tell you this, right? Tell anybody this, but I stopped at a Premier Inn once, and the lady who was at the reception in the Premier Inn knows Lenny Henry. And he doesn't stop at the Premier Inn. Stops at the Travel Lodge, apparently. 
<laughs> naughty. How naughty. Ooh. Allegedly. Allegedly. Anyway, you're going to show the viewers your hot dog before you uh, leave? Yeah. Was I not recording then? Are oh, you joking? Was I not oh, recording? No. Okay, food has been served, and uh, what have you got again, Blake? I have had scampi uh, and chips here. Got my tartar sauce. I uh, got my chips. I got ten pieces of scampi. Ooh, ten uh, pieces. And you there have got a, a good bend in that hot dog. Oh, check out this hot dog I've got. Yeah, it's got uh, what's that? Mustard and tomato sauce on it, and I've got some chips as well. And I've also got some lettuce and tomato. So yeah. It's now, like can I take hold of the camera here a minute? Because if you were on my channel, do you know what I'd be getting? you to do and i think you should just show the viewers <laughs> oh my god here we go folks are you ready here we go okay so we need a thumbnail oh my goodness this is on my video by the way I and know. it's getting me to do a thumbnail check out this hot dog Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> can you say look Ooh. at the bend in that look at the bend in that <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe I'm doing this on my own video. <laughs> do you want me to do one? All right, here we go, the master. Here he is, the master. You see, with thumbnails on YouTube, you've got to look shocked, so... <gasps> or, you could look disgusted. And then you choose which one you want. But you have to do the uh, thumbnails first. That plate doesn't look the cleanest, I have to say. It looks a bit greasy with thumb marks on it but you know we'll go with it <laughs> it does actually look a bit messy hmm anyway there we go i'm going to eat this one now i'm going to go in for my scampi dip it in there ah question salt first or vinegar first well that's actually a bit of a, a controversial one i've always been one to do salt first and then vinegar afterwards but you know, I've heard otherwise. So did I. But my viewers have told me, you do vinegar first, then the salt sticks to the vinegar. Because you do it the other way around, you wash the salt off. You know, that's actually a pretty good point, actually, there. And I have heard other people say that. But I'm stuck in my ways. I've always been one to put the salt on first and then wash it in with the vinegar. So there you go, you're told. I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tuck in. Right, okay, so uh, you know what? That hot dog was really, really good. There was one controversial thing that even though you time-lapsed that, somebody will pick up on, I guarantee you. Do we mention that? Um, is it to do with me eating the hot dog with my knife and fork? Yeah, that's <laughs> very controversial. However, uh, in your defence, it was very messy and I would have probably eaten it with a knife and fork as well. Yeah. I was going to try, honestly, I was going to try and eat it by picking it up, but oh. <laughs> it would have got, there was too much, there was too much on it. But marks I'm, out of ten. Marks out of ten. I'm going to give it an eight. I think it was really, really good. That yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scampi yeah. on mine. Could have been with a few more chips, but that, you know, uh, as a starter, it's not bad. Uh, as, um, I'm going to go with a uh, an eight. Yeah. That's good. That's still good. Bad. That's not bad from the map master. Don't forget to follow the map master. I said before, this guy, he works so... You, you know, some people say to me, they say, oh, this YouTube, it's easy, isn't it? You just go around with the camera. You want to see the way this fellow works. <laughs> he works like a demon, not just doing the videos, but also editing. I have no idea how you get time to do them and the editing. And not only that, coming up with an idea to do a video as well. It's co it is constant. It's a lot of work. I don't think people realise how much goes into YouTube. It, it's the editing that takes the time as well. And also coming up with the ideas. But it's enjoyable and you meet yeah. lots of different people. I mean, I met you through YouTube, so, you know, it was, it's great. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to keep coming up with ideas to do videos. So sometimes I wrap my brains thinking about what can I do next, you know. And uh, it, it can be quite hard work. But anyway, that was Blackpool on Good Friday. I don't know if it was... It was an interesting day. We had some. We had, it was a good morning. Yeah. Uh, and then the sun came out. It was nice and warm. 
I filmed the big one, which had broken down. You might have seen the short video I did of the big one with the, with the hit stuck on the lift deal. And there was a lot of people in town as well. And then the sort of rain came in, didn't it? We were doing yeah. some videos on, on for your channel and uh, it started to pour down. It didn't seem to put people off though, did it? No, we met some interesting people along the way as well. Oh, we met so many people, so many fans of both of our channels as well. That, and they were, some of the people were just... They were, they were speechless when they saw some, some, <laughs> some, some of them, especially when they saw the two of us. Like, oh my God, it's him as well. <laughs> so there you go. That was Good Friday. And I think it was a, uh, it was a good day. And we're, we're hoping that the weather will be better tomorrow for Easter. And you're watching this, hopefully, on Saturday, if I can get the video ready. What's that, Bell? Is that last orders? Yeah, I'm going to get us another beer. Oh, last orders. Time for <laughs> another beer. Anyway, uh, I hope you like this video. And uh, don't forget to follow the Matt Master. Get following him and um, if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. Have a great Easter my friends, bye bye.